Ciao, buongiorno a tutti ragazzi. Hopefully you're well. How's this for a morning out in Western Sydney? Absolutely gorgeous. You cannot fault this day. You cannot fault the sun, the agriculture out. This is a video to discuss the potential signing of Fiorentina forward, uh, right-hand sided winger Federico Chiesa. Now, Chiesa is a good player, so this, this opinion is going to divide some, but pretty sure most Interista, most Inter fans will be on the same page with this one. So, in terms of getting Federico Chiesa, he's probably going to cost somewhere north of 45, 50, 60 million euro. I don't want our marquee signing to be Chiesa. We're only going to get one because of the economy and the way things are going. It's very unrealistic to say we're going to get more than one big signing, regardless of how much money we bring in, whether it's from Icardi, Nainggolan, Perisic, Joao Mario, hopefully not Lautaro. But um, no matter what, with the money we get, we're going to have to spend on one big name. I'm hoping that name is Sandro Tonali. Uh, I, I don't want 60 million to go to Chiesa because that means if we buy Chiesa, that means Tonali is going to Juve and that would really piss me off. Um, so let us know in the comments below what your thoughts are about Chiesa. Let's talk a little bit about his form and who he plays for at the moment. He obviously plays for Fiorentina. Uh, Rocco Comiso, the president of Fiorentina, who's done a great job over there in terms of resurrecting the overall morale and mentality of the club despite, despite their shaky form. Um, he, I don't think he wants to sell Chiesa, but as soon as someone comes along with an offer of 60, I don't think he'll be able to say no. Chiesa's getting to that point in his career where he's probably looking to play Champions League football. Does he really want to spend another season at a mid-table club? Would he much rather just walk headfirst into a Juve or an Inter where he can just play first-team Champions League football next season? The answer is yes. But how does Chiesa fit into Antonio Conte's system at Inter? The short answer is that he actually doesn't. So it's a tough one because you want us to get these big players, these good players. And in terms of Serie A wingers, Kies is definitely probably a top three winger in the league, despite his theatrics and diving around and rolling around. But he could definitely do a lot for us. A lot of people are saying that he could come in as the second striker. Ugh. How is he going to play second striker next to Lukaku? Like, I understand he can, but his, his finishing's not as good as Lautaro. His movement inside the box isn't as good as Lautaro. And he can't play in a 3-5-2 as the right wing back because he's not a defensive tracker. He's not. It's not me saying he can't do it. It's me saying we've never seen the human being do it before. So we're not going to splash 60 million euro on a fundamental position in a 3-5-2 formation for a player that's not good at that role. Goodness me, our wing, our wing side, our flanks are going to be the absolute death of me. But no, 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 no reason to complain. It's just, um, just that this transfer is, it's not one that's rubbing me the right way. I think we're, we'd be going for it for all the wrong reasons. And we, yeah, it's, it's not, not necessarily the transfer that I would make. But you know, you probably have a different opinion to me. All my eyes are on Tonali, and you know, I know the rumors aren't that strong about Timo Werner, but. If we can land Werner and send Lazzaro in the other direction, that would be a dream for me. I'm trying to think if I've forgotten anything. Um, yeah, oh, his stats. He has the stats this season. Didn't score that many goals. Didn't provide that many assists. Um, his numbers are definitely in the single digits, obviously. Uh, I think he's got something like six goals, maybe like six assists, seven assists, something like that. I'm probably wrong. Um, had a much better season last season. But yeah, once again, in this economy, in this COVID shit, we're only going to get one marquee signing. Juventus is going to get one marquee signing. Clubs like us that have got money will get one big signing. I don't want it to be Chiesa. All right. Let me know what you think below. Forza Inter. Forza Inter Worldwide. Forza Western Sydney.